Hi, I'm Ray, G4NSJ, Amateur Radio Call Sign. I've been sent this to do a review on it. I've been sent it by Boblov Limited. Okay, it is a Nano VNA H. It says here, very tiny handheld vector network analyzer. Now, I did the review on the larger one, if you remember. That's the large one with the four inch screen. This is a 2.8 inch screen. Now don't be put off by the size. This is extremely powerful little device and it has made my SWR meter, which I only bought last year, this nice one, has made this redundant. I don't need it. I'll tell you why. Now what I'm going to do, first of all, we're going to have a look at it. You can check SWR with this. You can also check the frequency of a quartz crystal. And as if by magic, I have here a bag of quartz crystals. Now crystals aren't always marked. There's a quartz crystal, I've got a whole bag full here. So you can use this little device to check the frequency of the crystal. You can use it to check a crystal filter, you know, for sideband, single side, for check a crystal filter. Chatting on the radio to people, amateur radio people, the majority of them use these for checking SWR, standing wave ratio on an aerial, an amateur radio aerial. Okay, so that's what I'm gonna show you, how to check the SWR on the aerial. I'm not gonna go through all the different things you can do with it. You could check the value of an inductor. If you've got an unknown inductor, check the value of that on here. You can check the resonant frequency of a tuned circuit. It goes on and on what you can do with this. But as I say, most people, want this for SWR and it makes their SWR meter redundant. Right, let's have a look at the device close up. Okay, here it is. Let's have a look. Uh, this this is the little, the little wand, okay, for prodding the screen. A couple of leads here. There's a little couple of there that you get with it. Okay, then you get three of these. The silvery colour one, stainless steel, is the load. Then you've got one there with a pin in the middle. That's the short circuit one. Then the one with nothing in the middle, that's the open circuit one. We'll come to all that in a minute. Oh, you also get this, the charging lead. Right, let's look at the device itself. Here we are. Now, this one isn't in a plastic, that's what that's for, to prod the screen. This one isn't in a, a, a box, it's open there. Now what you have here, this is the on off switch on the top here, on off switch. That's the charging port there. There's a little toggle type wheel there. You can press it, okay, or flip it that way, or flip it that way. Now we're gonna flip it that way because we're gonna check the SWR. You'll see in a minute how that works. These are the two ports channel zero and channel one and that's all there is to it there we are there's the back of it that's all there is to it very simple to operate quite a, a handy size i mean you can put that in your pocket now let me just show you a couple of things before i do anything else that's the on off switch turn it on there we are you've got that on the screen now what i'm going to do is set this up so we will need to put that in there okay in channel zero right before you do anything you want to let's get rid of that for a minute bring up the menu just by tapping anywhere calibrate reset okay that resets everything in case it's got something in its memory from the last time you used it okay i'm now going to go back to stimulus stimulus right start now i want to check the swr on my two meter aerial so let's say now two meters is 144 to 146 megs so let's go 140 megs okay stop let's go to 150 megs 150 megs okay that's that and down here it says start 140 stop 150 Go back here, go back, display, trace, 
Now I've already done this. We want the yellow trace. OK. And you want it on format. SWR. Now that now says up there channel zero SWR. OK. Go back here again. Let's go back. Calibrate. Calibrate. Open. So we're going to connect the open circuit. One of these. Do you remember these? The open circuit one, which is which is that one. So I'm going to put that on the end of the, the lead, which I've now done, and then press open. That's done that. Now it's saying it wants the short circuit one. So I'm going to put that on the end of the lead. There it is on the end. Short circuit. Press short. It now wants the load, which if you remember is the silvery colour one. Put the load on the end of the lead and press load. OK, now done. Now I want to save this. I'm going to save it in number one. Save in number one. There we are. And that's now done. That's now set up to read SWR on an aerial between 140 and 150 megs. So the next thing to do is to plug the aerial into it. Right, this is the 2 meter aerial, the 259 plug. I've got an adapter there into the lead, which goes into the unit. OK, to channel zero. Right, sorry about all these reflections, it's the lighting. Let's turn this on. Now I've connected the aerial already, so what we want to do is go here. Recall. OK, we want to recall where we saved it. We saved it in one, didn't we? There's one. Tap the screen to get rid of the menu. Right, let's have a look what this says. This is 140 to 150 megs. This is the SWR. Now, what I'm going to do, I want to find where the aerial is resonant. So if we go back to the menu, go back, go back, marker, search for minimum. You see that? It's looking for the minimum SWR and it's found it there. It's found it there. That's the minimum. Get rid of that. Right. The aerial is resonant on 142.4. Can you see that? 142.4 megs. The SWR is 1.02, 1.01, 1.02. That is extremely low SWR. The only thing is it's on 142 megs. And I'm operating, well, let's say 145 is the middle. So the little switch at the top here, this little one, move that. Click it to the right and you see the marker moving. There it goes. We can get that to the right frequency up the top here. There's the frequency. So if I move the marker. 143.4. Let's keep going. 144 megs. 145 megs. There we are. That's the middle of the band. And the SWR is 1.19 1.18 that's pretty good so you can see exactly what the SWR is over the entire two meter amateur band ideally I would want the lowest SWR in the middle of the amateur band wouldn't I 145 it's what was it uh, 1.01 or something I'm, I'm not bothered about that 1.1 something wasn't it that's that's close enough I'm not taking the aerial down off its huge pole and fiddling about just for the sake of a little bit of reflected power like that. Now, I'll just show you this. That SO239 to the SMA, you don't get that. These are all over the internet. You can pick these up anywhere. And as you saw, that goes in there. Then your aerial plugs into there. Or what if you've got, you might have an end connector. So you're going to get an adapter for that. So that's that. As I said earlier, that's the charging lead. Just stick that into a five volt phone charger. Off you go. And the whole thing comes in a little box like that. that is, it's amazing. It is. Using the SWR meter, as we all have done since, well, since you know, 200 years ago, <laughs> this is great. But you've got to fire up the transmitter, adjust it. You think, right, the SWR is 1.3 to 1 on that frequency. You then got to change the frequency of the radio. Check the SWR again, transmit again. It's it's such a palaver. 
And all you have to do now is stick that into the aerial. Uh, it covers, what is it, 50 kilohertz up to, I think it's three gigahertz. I don't know, have to look on the, uh, on the spec for that. Oh, here we are. Yeah, 50 kilohertz to 300 megs, 300 megs to 900 megs, 0.9 gigs, oh, to 1.5 gigahertz. Absolutely fantastic. And as I said, don't be put off by the size. It's perfectly, as you saw, it's perfectly easy to read that screen. No problem at all. Even with my old eyesight. <laughs> I've got to put the links under the video, uh, the links where you can buy this from Amazon. You'll be amazed at the price. I was, I must admit, when I first saw the price, I thought, good grief. How, electronics today, how can you have all that in here for that sort of price? It's amazing. I don't, I often wonder, going back to the early, early days, the 60s, the 50s, how we did it. Well, people built their own SW armies, didn't they? They built everything themselves to show them. So imagine taking this back to the 50s and saying, look at that. People wouldn't believe it. They say it's magic. <laughs> it is magic as far as I'm concerned. Excellent. As I say, I'll put all the links below. Have a look at that. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you next time. Bye bye for now.